Okay, so let's do one of these resonance problems. Uh, this one says, draw all the possible resonances for the following compounds. And then it says at least two. So let's do two, okay? Um, so what you can see here, I guess there was a question prior to uh, the video being started. It said, well, what does this mean when you see the two electrons in the negative sign, right? That means that there used to be a hydrogen there, and the hydrogen has been removed, right? The proton itself has been removed, but the electrons have stayed there. So it's been deprotonated, this compound, okay? Okay. So uh, let's go ahead and draw resonance structures. And remember, when we're drawing resonance structures, we want to draw those double-headed arrows to show the motion of the electrons. Because remember, resonance structures, all the atoms stay in the same place, but the electrons themselves are moving around. That's what designates a resonance structure, okay? And also remember in a resonance structure, lone pairs can move and pi bonds can move, okay? You can't break single bonds, okay? So let's go ahead and do that. So here we have a lone pair, right? Do you see the lone pair? Yes. And the two uh, pi bonds, right? So those things we can move around. Anything else is off limits. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay, cool. So let's go ahead and use our double-headed arrows. So what's happened there? We've shown those lone pairs going and making a pi bond in between those two carbon atoms there. But if we make a bond there, this carbon has to lose one of its bonds, because if it doesn't, it would have five bonds, right? So what we're going to do is move those electrons to right there, okay? So that there is going to look similar to what this carbon looked like prior to the electron motion. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay, wonderful. The other thing we want to do is remind ourselves what resonance arrows look like, right? So they're those double-headed arrows, okay? The two-sided arrows. So, like that, okay? So the resonance arrow. So let's draw what we did here. So draw it on your paper and see if your drawing matches up with my drawing. Did you get something that looks like that? Yes. Okay, wonderful, then you're doing it right, okay? So it wanted us to draw one more, right? So yes. let's go ahead and do it. So what would, what would you think is going to happen, right? What are we going to do? We're going to move that lone pair and move it where? To one over. Yeah, in between, right? That's what you mean. And then we're going to do something with this pi bond? That's going to transfer the electrons to the... Yep, okay. So let's do that. Okay, so let's show the motion of the electrons first. Like that. And then like that. Now let's show our resonance arrow. Let's draw our structure. Like that. Notice we didn't do anything to this pi bond over here on the right side of the molecule, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now remember, None of these structures is the actual structure of this anion. It's all of them combined. It's a resonance hybrid, okay? So it's kind of like you overlay all three of these on top of each other, then you get what the actual structure of this anion looks like. Okay, are there any questions about this one? No question. That makes sense? Okay, wonderful. Okay. 